Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I have a bunch of new makeup that I really want to try out. I just got back from Michael's house, my friend that also does makeup, if you guys don't know who that is, um, and I've stolen a lot of things. So I'm really excited to just play with all of these products and just see how they go. So we're going to go ahead and start with the eyes because today I actually filmed another video and I did my face first and it just didn't, it just didn't work. I always like to do my eyes first. It just so much safer. I just went ahead and primed my eyelids. Um, hello, look at all the eyelashes on this eye and this eye, it's all gone. I'm so sorry that you have to witness that, but um, that's fine. Let's go in with the eyeshadow palette. So I'm taking the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. I just got this in the mail the other day and it looks so pretty. As soon as I saw this, I was so inspired. So I feel like I love eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes that you can create a whole look with multiple looks with and this one you definitely can so the first color I'm going to take is this beautiful coral shade down here I did just do a pinky eyeshadow look but I just really want to do a coral one and this is going to be more dramatic anyway I literally woke up with so much hate on my channel this morning when I uploaded literally a mukbang like me eating Chinese food I did not expect that but I think I actually know what it is now so Usually I film like, you know, how I always film makeup tutorials. So I've come to the conclusion that when I film makeup tutorials, I'm so relaxed because obviously when you do makeup, you really want to concentrate and that's what I do and I'm super chilled. And then when I film like a sit down, like chatty video, I'm super hyper and like loud and people aren't used to that. So they're like, oh, what happened to her? She's changed. So that makes a lot of sense. People just aren't used to seeing that side of me which is fine anyway so I'm just gonna take this um, up nice and high with a blending brush the next color I'm taking is this pink up here so this one's gonna go in the crease with a Mac 217s I didn't even know I had this that's so weird I do not recall buying this but I'm just gonna pop this in my crease and also on my outer half as well This is so weird because I used this eyeshadow palette yesterday just to see like what it was like and it was so much more pigmented. So obviously the eyeshadow base that I used today or like the powder that I used to set it has completely changed like the pigmentation, which I'm so glad that I know now because like it was honestly so much more pigmented. I'm shook. You know, it's time to clean that up, honey. Wow. That was full on. And then on the lid, I'm going to go in with this beautiful pinky orange shade down here. Hello. I just sprayed some fix floss on my brush as well. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my God, so pretty. I just feel like pink and orange go so well together, especially when this one's like iridescent. Okay, so the eyes are done. I'm actually really happy with how that's turned out, especially when we have some really big lashes on. So, um, but yeah, just keep in mind that it definitely was a lot more pigmented yesterday. So I will try it again with a different base because I know it'll be a lot more vibrant. But for now, we're going to move on to, whoa, girl, mascara. So this one's a Shiseido Imperial Lash Black Ink Mascara. I've never used Shiseido before. I'm so excited. The wand looks incredible. Look at that. I'm just going to go in and coat these manky lash extensions. They looked good at the start, but I've been wearing falsies every weekend since I got them. My bad. I always go back to the Kat Von D liquid eyeliner. This one is so trustworthy. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a really thin line on my upper lash line. Okay, so now it's time for the lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these ones on. These ones are from the brand Alina Lash. These are stunning and I love the packaging, so I'll be right back. I want my face to be kind of glowy today, so I'm gonna go on with the Bobbi Brown Extra Golden Glow Illuminating Moisturizing Balm, and I'm just gonna put this on the back of a buffing brush. I'm just gonna... <gasps> and then I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender and just pat it in. Wow. 
That is very glowy. Let's move on to the foundation. I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. This has SPF 25 in it and it's in the shade Cashew. Um, I really hope this has full coverage because I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a really lightweight foundy. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pour it onto the beauty blender. Hope for the best. Oh, it's very liquidy. The color's nice. I'm definitely, definitely going to need some more coverage. Just going in with concealer. I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm so impressed with the glow that I still, still have on my face. Like, seriously, what's going on here? I've been using this concealer so much recently. It's amazing. I'm just going to patch that in to get rid of any dark areas and to highlight. Wow, oh, that's so much on my nose, like relax charms. Now to set that down, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Easy Bake Loose Powder. So I'm just gonna put some in the back of the lid and then just bake under my eyes because I just put a lot of concealer down and we need to soak up any excess product so it doesn't go creasing on me. Oh my God, that smells so good. I can't even deal with that. I'm also gonna do my laugh lines because um, if everything is very luminous, that needs to stay put. And then, of course, I'm going to go in and set my face. I'm just going to pat it down. Um, this is just going to take away the purpose of, like, all of that glow. But I don't like to look oily, so I don't know why I even bother in the first place. But this is the Australis uh, Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder, my all-time fave. Now let's move on to the eyeliner. I'm going to take the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Lip Liner. What? I'm not using that as a lip liner, you goose. I'm going to start by taking, hmm, actually I'll start by taking the dark pink um, all the way from outer corner to like the middle. Okay, then going in with the coral shade, I'm just going to take that underneath the pink right here just to blow it out a little bit. I'm going to take it into the inner corner as well. Now it's time to warm up the face. So I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Bronzing Powder in the shade Bali Brown 5. This one is super shimmery and it's a really nice shade. So I'm just going to pop this um, under my cheekbones. Oh, what the hell? Okay, um, I'm going to go in with the MAC Refined Golden instead on an angled brush just because I know that this one works really well so i don't really want to be playing around with anything new right now oh my god guys what the hell what is that like why oh <gasps> that must be the bobby brown product i swear that was nice for the blush i'm going to go in with the laura geller baked blush and brighten in the shade pink buttercream um honestly like the cheeks are concerning me, so I'm going to try and overpower the bronzer with blush. <laughs> okay, so now let's move on to the highlighter. I'm taking the Pretty, Pretty Little Glow by Doll Beauty. Oh, that's the shade. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? Okay, now it's time for the lips. So I have two shades right here that I've never used before. We have the Jeffree Star Daddy and then the... KKW by Kylie Cosmetics Cream Liquid Lipstick in Kimberly. So I'm just going to swatch these on my hand and just see what shade I want. This, I feel like Daddy's too brown. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to be nude. Because there's so much pink on the face, I kind of want to keep within that theme. So I'm going to go in with this Jouer Longwear Lip Liner. This one's in the shade Petal. That is very pink. Okay, now let's go in with the um, liquid lipstick. Oh. All right, guys, I just went ahead and suited up. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Um, I have green eye contacts in and some earrings. Um, I really just want to kind of change the lip a little bit. I feel like it needs to be a tiny bit darker to match the eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this NARS... Alpine a pole line lipstick. It's just like a darker pink. So I'm just gonna put this over the top 
Oh, wow, the formula on that. Here we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys loved it. I actually had so much fun just sitting down and playing with a bunch of different products. It's just like so therapeutic to me. So yeah, super chilled video. If you like this, give it a thumbs up because it helps me out so much. I love you all very, very much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.